Doctors initially gave Chelsea and Nick Torres' twins little chance of survival when they learned that the girls were conjoined. They even advised terminating the pregnancy. However, against all odds, Chelsea gave birth to healthy twin girls who continued to defy expectations. In June 2016, Chelsea discovered she was pregnant with twins. Already parents to a son named Jason, the couple was familiar with parenthood. However, at five weeks into Chelsea's pregnancy, she began experiencing cramps. Her doctor conducted an ultrasound and delivered the devastating news that she was having a miscarriage, leaving Chelsea in tears. Further examinations revealed that the unborn babies were too close to her cervix, putting the pregnancy at risk. Despite anticipating a miscarriage, it did not occur by the eighth week. Seeking a second opinion at a different clinic, Chelsea underwent another ultrasound, which revealed an unexpected heartbeat. Overjoyed by this news, she didn't pay much attention to the screen during the procedure. However, when a doctor began asking questions, Chelsea sensed something was wrong. The doctor delivered the shocking revelation that the twins were conjoined, and the appointment became a blur for Chelsea. Conjoined twins occur in approximately 1 in 49,000 to 189,000 births, with a high mortality rate. Doctors initially believed the twins wouldn't survive, and some recommended terminating the pregnancy. Chelsea sought another opinion from a surgeon who provided multiple options, including continuing the pregnancy. This surgeon estimated a 30% chance of survival for the twins. The only drawback was that the surgeon practiced at the Children's Hospital in Texas, a 25-hour drive from their home in Idaho. The Torreses made the difficult decision to move to Houston to be closer to the medical center. Chelsea's pregnancy was filled with anxiety, but she eventually underwent a planned C-section on January 30, 2017. The procedure brought her joy, and she held her conjoined twin girls, Carter and Callie, for the first time. The girls shared a single set of legs and abdominal torsos but were otherwise healthy. Surprisingly, doctors recommended against separating the twins because of their good health. The family returned to Idaho with their unique babies, surrounded by a supportive community. Everyday tasks required custom-made supplies, and life as parents of conjoined twins was an extreme adjustment. As Carter and Callie approached their second birthday in 2019, they continued to grow into happy, healthy toddlers, defying the odds and bringing joy to their family and community.